also met John Dillinger. Now, how did that whole story he, Well, he was along. staying at uh, an apartment on Oakland and North Avenue. And he'd eat over at Frenchie's restaurant across the street. And he'd come over there. He came over, I think it was a 32 Ford Coupe at that time. And um, he, he had worked on, on a car. And Did you know it was John Dillinger at the time? No, I didn't right away. But he was sitting there one day. I says, aren't you John? And he looked at me and he says, I don't know what you're talking about. And he, in about 15 minutes, he left, took his car and left, went down. And about a half an hour later, we heard fire departments, squad cars, everything rushing to the scene over on. And I thought that he thought that I had squealed on him, see, but I wish I didn't. Mm -hmm. I just said, aren't you John? He looked familiar to me. It was him. And he escaped from there. They surrounded the buildings, but he had gone out. And uh, a fellow by the name of he, he had a saloon across the street from Frenchie's. And he said he used to come in there every day. Did so he know who it was? He came in with a little girl. I don't forget what her name was. She had a French name. And they'd sit in there and have a few drinks and that was it. Did Mr. Kotecki know that was John? Did he? Yeah, but he, he didn't say anything to him. Uh -huh. But he knew, and he was staying across the street over there. And Kotecki was smart, said nothing, of course. But um, it was John Dillinger. How did you feel after you fought? <laughs> I didn't.